Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited in the Winter Special Edition. So this video is going to be a fairly quick but still detailed look at the interior and exterior features of this vehicle. So let's go ahead and check it out, starting with the exterior. Now you notice this one is in a white color, but it has these decals that you'll only find on the winter edition. You can also get the winter edition in other colors besides white. It's not exclusively a white color vehicle. So you have the decals there in the front, kind of giving it like an alpine look, I guess you can. So what it reminds me of, kind of the uh, alpine mountains with the white snow-capped mountains, and then you have the uh, dark portions of the mountains. Kind of reminds me of that. I'm not sure exactly what it's trying to represent, but it looks pretty cool nonetheless. So the wheels are a 17 inch BF Goodrich tire with an alloy wheel and it has a uh, kind of like a parkerized matte finish. It's really uh, unique. It's not just a regular matte finish. It has a very uh, like a, a rough textured. I don't know if you're familiar with parkerization. It kind of feels like that, but it's really neat and unique. It also has the class two trailer hitch, the towing package with a four way outlet. It has the heavy duty rear bumper with the, uh, the tow attachments here. And a, uh, a texturized step on the back as well. Tail lights are protected by this little cage. It has a covered fuel door. It also has the rock rails on the side. So this is a heavy duty, hey, check out that moth hidden in there. It's pretty neat, matches the vehicle too. Uh, but it has these rock rails or heavy duty uh, side protectors for rocks and debris as you're off-roading. Here in the front it has a heavy duty uh, winch capable bumper, super strong bumper up here. So it has a unique styling as well it kind of stands out from the other jeep wranglers it also has the hooks down the bottom or place to uh, attach hooks in the bottom and skid plates underneath led headlights for your low and your high beams as well as your fog lights so this one has the 3.6 liter uh, v6 paired to a five speed automatic transmission let's go ahead and check that out before we go too much further So not much to see because it's covered up with plastic, but you can get an idea of what the engine compartment looks like. It has the insulation there on the background, on the back firewall there. And then the, uh, there's your battery that's easy to get to. But yeah, it's a Pentastar 3.6 liter V6 with a five speed automatic transmission. Now this is the same trans um, engine that you will find in say uh, the Dodge Challenger or, or um, you know Grand Cherokee, stuff like that. It's the same Pentastar engine. They pretty much use on almost all, yeah, pretty much all their V6s are now the Pentastar. And securing the hood and opening up the hood, there's no latch underneath the uh, the floorboard. So you do have to, um, if you wanted to secure your hood, uh, you would have to buy a, a kit that attaches right in here and it secures it uh, with a key. So this one has the matching hard top as well. And it's a three piece hard top so you have the, the front two portions re are removable uh, sort of like t-tops and then the back portion removes separately from the front so that way you have options there all right so let's take a look on the inside of the vehicle starting with the passenger door soft to the touch and it has like the stitching here on the inside it's really kind of a, a step up for wranglers with the stitching and all that and there's a net pocket there's your threshold, leather trim seats with the uh, mesh on the, in the center portion of the seats. There's your floorboard with the, uh, the snap-in uh, slush mats. These are the rubber mats that snap in place like these big buttons. And you can see since they're factory mats, they, they uh, formed perfectly for the vehicle, almost like seamless edge there. You have some gloss black trimmings on the inside as well as here on the uh, the handle. 
and then you have a lockable glove compartment manual seats on the you know the the passenger and the driver and all that it does have the handles as well now the handles in the back also have the hooks for uh, for the uh, like clothes hanger or whatever it also has the tinted glass the privacy glass here in the back inside of the back door is similar to the front it doesn't have the stitching or the soft to the touch though now the back mat I like the way it has the tire tracks on it. it's pretty cool but the back mat is um, just one piece all the way across and it has uh, even the center portion there which is nice especially if you have a center passenger back here they can you know put their feet there so it has the same leather and mesh stitching here on the the back bench seat now the bench seat does fold down in a 60 40 split fashion uh, but you know it's basically a bench seat and then you have the handles with the little hook right here in the back so these these are a little bit different from the front all right showing this little sticker here it has a lot of you can use the pause button to some, get some information off this particular uh, information so you see the uh, the horsepower 285 a 260 pound feet of torque now this one has the alpine sound system 550 watt nine speaker audio system so lots of information on that one page that's why i wanted to show it to you now the power windows are controlled here in the center in the back doors and in the front there's a center panel for the the power window so i'll get into that when we get in the front so you also have some cup holders there pockets on the back of the front seats so folding these seats down so there's a latch right up in here you just kind of fold them down and the headrest will actually kind of push up out of the way as it goes down it also folds down the bottom portion it goes flat with the floor so that way uh, it gives you more room and there's no wasted space underneath it which is nice all right taking a look at the back of the vehicle it has the heated rear glass so the default you know the heated uh, defroster for the rear glass as well as the windshield wiper there there's your third brake light above your spare tire which is of course full size and matching the rest of the vehicle now the good thing about uh, having a hard top over the soft top is really easy to get to the uh, storage area or the cargo area you can just lift it up you don't have to unzip the soft top all right Okay, so here's your cargo area, and you can see I've added to that this cargo space by folding the seat down, but I think you give get a general idea of the cargo space, even with the seats up. But uh, there's a 12-volt power supply. Now, you notice it has a battery symbol on it showing you that it's directly connected to the battery. You don't have to turn the ignition switch on or off in order to activate that, so that's handy. Uh, this is a, a bag in which you can put the front top portions in that bag and then strap it to the back of the back seats and that way you can you know have a place to put them now with the alpine sound system it has this all-weather speaker system uh in the bottom portion has this really strong uh grate in front of it speaker grill this mat is double-sided has rubber on one side and carpet on the other now this lifts up and there's little uh, places to put your screws and stuff if you take your doors off and there's your speaker and your um, your amplifier is basically built into the speaker system and it's secured uh, by this this right here so if you have the top off as long as you have your tailgate locked you know this is kind of keeping this from people a little bit of protection as far as people from trying to steal it or, or whatever and then under this is uh, your tools for your spare tire right under there all right Kind of put everything in place it also has these tie downs here right there in all four corners and also the back seats have the latch system to where you can put car seats in place and the anchors are right there on the back of the seat and you don't want to get those confused with the tie downs which are a different type of system there different rating as far as weight and all that stuff and all the uh, the roll cage the roll bar here is all covered up with this this foam and you have some speakers in the roll cage in addition to the handles and then you have a center dome light all that good stuff 
There's actually, underneath that speaker grill, there's actually two speakers in there. So there's two speakers there, two speakers there. I was counting the speakers one time and I was trying to find all the speakers and turns out two of them were behind one grill. All right. We want to close this firmly, but not over slam it since there's a lot of weight attached to it with the spare tire. Okay, sitting in the driver's seat, checking it out. Just kind of looking at my leg room here. Um, I have a place to kind of put my left foot, but there's no footrest there. Now, part of the reason why they don't do that is because the clutch will be here if you have a manual transmission, so you have to kind of leave that open. But pretty decent amount of knee room and everything. And the seats are able to raise and lower on the driver's side, unlike the passenger side, but it's all manual. Okay, so before we get started on the inside too much, I'm gonna show you the window sticker. You, of course, like the other one, you can use the pause button to get some information off of it if you like. So you can see the uh, the winter edition starts here. So the optional equipment starts here and it goes on. There's a lot of stuff that's deleted and added in that particular package. So delete, say the uh, soft top and then add the hard top, that kind of thing. All right, so looking at the steering wheel, uh, the steering wheel is leather wrapped, is very good thickness and comfortable. Something you want to have, especially in a uh, off-road type vehicle, so you get a good grip on the steering wheel. It's not digging into your buns or anything like that. It has the gloss black uh, plastic around the outside. The cruise control is on the right side, and your volume is on on the back side. Uh, you can go up and down on the volume. You can also um, cycle through the so you have a toggle switch with a center button. So the, the up and down is for your volume. The center button is to cycle through your audio source, including your hard drive. You have a, uh, a disc drive, the radio, and all that stuff. On the left side, on the back, up and down is changed to your audio tracks or your radio station, and then the center button is for your presets. Okay, so right in here, you have your voice recognition and your Bluetooth to answer your call, make calls, that kind of stuff right in here. And then this portion is for a little screen uh, next to the gauges, which we'll get to in just a minute. Windshield wiper controls are on the right for your front and rear, and your turn signals here, but you also have your headlight controls. It does have automatic. Your fog lights are controlled by pulling it out like so, so when you turn it off, it snaps back in place. But you can keep it on automatic and then pull it out, and that way the fog lights will turn on with the headlights. As long as you have your low beams on, not your high beams. Okay, so here's your gauges, and check it out. It has this little mountain range going on with the same color pattern as you see in the exterior of the vehicle so your rpms and your uh, engine coolant temperatures there on the right and then your speedometer and your fuel gauge is on the left so you'll notice the odometer is here and the gear what gear you're in is right above it but on the left side you have a digital compass showing you which way the vehicle is facing right now it's facing southwest and the exterior temperature now I can use these buttons right here to get some more information. I'm going to push the menu button and then it shows a digital speedometer uh, selection so I can go to, go down and get that. I can also get you know average miles per gallon. I can get uh, the range to empty, the tire pressure, and I reset a timer. Vehicle info, I can actually go, to, go through that. Coolant temperature, oil life, uh, oil pr pressure, transmission temperature, stuff like that. So you can change the units from U.S. to metric. Personal settings, you can go into that, and then it scrolls back there. Now, at any time, it doesn't matter where you're at, let's say you're here, you can always push this button right here, and it'll go back to your compass. So that way you can always quickly uh, get back to that in case you need it. All right, so here's your radio, and the radio is... is they've used this particular system for a while. This is the Uconnect... Uh, 430 with the navigation system and as a drive an optical drive in the back which plays uh, music off of CDs um, mp3s as well as DVDs you have your voice recognition and your uh, phone controls here on the radio as well it says AM FM satellite radio with your presets right in here you can go in your navigation by pushing that button you can see the map 
uh, needs to be updated. I think this year, later on this year, they're going to have a new, when the new Wrangler comes out, it's going to have an updated uh, uh, infotainment screen. So this one's kind of dated relative to some of the other pr products that Jeep has out, especially like the Grand Cherokee and stuff. So your media, you can go in there. There's different ways of playing music, hard drive, uh, the disc, auxiliary input, USB, and Bluetooth, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it does have a traditional volume knob for your radio. You can go into the menu. Uh, you can actually view pictures on here as well. So you can put a USB drive. Uh, you can USB port here and load some pictures and, and uh, audio tracks, stuff like that onto the hard drive. And you can manage that hard drive right here. Music, pictures, and you can manage your hard drive. It's, it's a 40 gig, but I think 28 gigs are available. Let's see. It's calculating now. Yeah, 28 gigs are available, but it's a 40 gig drive. All right. So this is your power windows. And check it out. They're automatic on the front, too. But look how fast they, they roll down. And roll up pretty quick. So your climate control is down here, so your fan speed, your temperature, and where you want the air to blow. Now it does have an automatic setting, so you just hit the auto, set your temperature, and it will just make sure this is an auto as well, and it will kind of automatically uh, you know, keep it in that temperature that you want and change the um, airflow as needed. It does have heated seats here in the front, it's a two-stage, high and low. You can turn off your traction control in case you need to spin tires. It also has a downhill descent control button. It's kind of like a uh, slow moving cruise control. This is only for off-road use though. And this is your um, four-way flashers. Now this is for an AC adapter, uh, which is right here in the front of the console right here, which you can turn on and off. There's your passenger side of heated seat. 12 volt power supply with the key. That's showing you that it turns on and off of the ignition. And then your side mirrors are adjusted here. You just pick a side and then you can adjust it like a little joystick. There's a net pocket and place to put some pins or some small items there. Here's your four-wheel drive shifter to engage in four-wheel drive. 373 gears, by the way, front and rear. Okay, so here's your shifter. So let's go ahead and put it in reverse, neutral. There's your normal drive position. You can actually manually change through the five gear ratios by bumping it to the right or left. And you'll know what gear you're in because it'll show you right up here. So we're in first gear, second gear, that kind of thing. All right. If you accidentally bump it and go out of, uh, you know, out of the range that you want, you can just press and hold it to the right and it'll go back and drive. There's your um, parking brake, handbrake, cup holders. Now, the, the, uh, the, since this one has the Alpine sound system with the subwoofer, your glove compartment and this portion is the only lockable portions in the vehicle. If you didn't have the out behind subwoofer, that would be an, an additional lockable portion to put some stuff when you have your top down and everything. Um, so this is your other portion here. So this is your armrest, it's pretty good size. It's fairly soft, not super soft, but this is a Wrangler, so you want things rugged and tough. Um, but let's go ahead and open up. Now it has two portions. You have a small portion, there's actually two buttons here here and here. So the smaller button lifts open a smaller portion. So you can put some stuff in there. You can also put wires in and out of this compartment into the second compartment uh, because that's where you'll find a USB and another power supply. Now this one's connected to the battery as well and a storage compartment. Now the, all the Wranglers since I think it's 2015 uh, comes with a toolkit and it has a Torx kit. This is this helps you. These are the kits that the, the tools that you need in order to op take the doors off and um, take the top off, and also you can fold the window windshield down if you want to. That kind of thing. So it has a uh, auto dim rear view mirror. You also have some lights right under here for nighttime. In addition to the the uh, dome light in the center, and then your visors have mirrors in them and also the visors extend out so you can have additional reach there there's the latch for the hard top and the hard top in addition to the latches it also has these screws right here that you can unscrew to uh to remove them so they're they're pretty solid in there let's look at the visibility now i do have one seat folded down but uh 
you know you can see the the seats folded down gives you better visibility so if you don't have any rear passengers it might be a good idea to go ahead and fold them down because look look how well you can see out of the back uh, with them down and then you can see that one seat kind of gets in the way a little bit but which it does kind of line up with the uh, the pillar in the back but um, you know overall it's not too bad now the Wranglers do not have a up until this point not have a backup camera but I think that will change next year because of the some kind of law I heard that that's requiring new vehicles to have backup cameras but we'll see all right 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Winter Special Edition four-wheel drive of course lots and lots of off-road uh, of course this is a Jeep Wrangler but check it out it has the uh, you know the solid front axle and and solid rear axle this is a very if you're not familiar with with Jeep Wranglers a lot of people are trading their SUVs in on the Jeep Wranglers and uh, it's kind of they're entering a you know different environment um, Jeep Wranglers used to be kind of more of a tight-knit group of people for off-roading and stuff but now just about anybody could drive Jeep Wrangler especially with the four doors that they have the unlimiteds so anyways, enough rambling. Thank you for watching and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville, North Carolina for allowing me to show off another awesome vehicle and I'll see you guys next time.